Hi, and welcome to At Home Art Lessons with the Art Groupies. The Groupies help develop great art habits so we can become a better artist. Today's Groupie is a new guy. His name is Stretch. Stretch is the type of art groupie who likes to play and experiment and take risks with different mediums, different techniques, and he tries things that he's never done before. He explores. Now on that note, trying something that we've never done before, how about virtual school? So this artist, Mike Austin, is a graphic design artist and illustrator. He wrote the book Monsters Love School. I'm going to add my own little twist and call it virtual school. Now trying something new always is a little scary so we all need to be brave. Brave little monsters love big adventures diving and swimming, splashing and singing all year long. Row, row, row your monster gently through the swamp. But our in-school learning has come to an end. Now it's time to get ready for the biggest adventure of all. Remember, we need to be brave. Monster Virtual School! Woohoo! Virtual School? Gulp! What do we need for Virtual School? Well, we need a laptop. We need a backpack filled with special supplies for this big adventure. Check the list, says Greenie. Tape? Check. Paper? Check. Ruler? Check. Lunch. Check. Crowns. Check. What if I get hungry? What do we eat? Says Blue. We eat at lunchtime. In the kitchen, says Little Gray. Let's go, buddy. What's school for anyway? Asks Blue. I already know my ABGs and 413s. And XYDs? Silly monster, we'll show you, says Little Gray. Principal Chang says, Virtual school is for learning your ABCs, 123s, and XYZs. Virtual school is for painting and folding and pasting says Mrs. Donia, the art teacher. I made a fancy hat fit for a queen. I love art class, says Pinky. I made a superhero mask, grrr, says Blue. I made a mustache, says Little Gray. I made a mistake. Please help, says Goo. That's okay. Everybody makes mistakes. I'll help you fix it, says Mrs. Donia. Virtual school is for reading and writing and spelling, says Mr. Barker. Can you spell mustache or monster or hungry? What do, when do we eat? Virtual school is for trying new things, says Chef Octi, like my delicious, nutritious, world-famous school gruel. Yummy, yummy! Monsters drool for school gruel. Mrs. Stinsman says, School is for learning your monster history. Mrs. Stinsman's history class is awesome. Now it's time for Explorer Book Club, says Mrs. Beeler, the librarian. Blast off! And let's hear it for Singing Club, shouts Mrs. Chen. Give it up for our newest group, the High Notes. Ding, ding, ding. It's the end of the virtual school day. 
Time to go. Hi, Blue, says Little Gray. How was your first day of virtual school? I was kind of scared, but now I'm not. I'm learning my ABCs and 123s and XYZs. I made a cool new superhero mask in art class. I'm learning to read and write and spell. I ate some school gruel. I'm learning my Munster history. Book club at the library is awesome. And I sang funny songs. I had fun. And know what else? I love Monster Virtual School. Woohoo! So, Mike Austin, he is a illustrator, graphic design artist, and also an author. If you're interested in making some monsters and you don't have the yarn available for this project and paper towel roll, pair of scissors, no worries. You can draw your monster. You can use colored pencils and you can give him some shadowing to make it look three dimensional. Add some texture and some pattern. This one, I tried to make it look like a feather. If you don't have colored pencils, you could use some markers and color in your monsters. You can also use colored paper and make a collage of your monsters. We're going to use some yarn and a paper towel roll. Now, they say for this project, you need to have 200 wraps around your paper towel roll. When you're done that, you can just cut it. Now very carefully, you're going to pull it off of your paper towel roll. And now you have a nice big ring of yarn. You want to take another piece of yarn put the big ring over top of it and you're going to tie this piece into a knot. So you want to take it, go under and pull tight and do it one more time. Crisscross, come in through the hole and pull it tight. Now before you do anything else, you want to take a pipe cleaner if you have one and wrap it right in that middle and you want to twist it. Make sure it's nice and tight. Now what you're going to do is you now have two loops. Okay, you're going to stick your scissors through the one loop, hold tight, and cut with your scissors. Try to cut in the inside part, not on the tips of your scissors. Now go ahead and turn it over and put your scissor right through the next hole and do the same thing. Hold tight and cut with your scissors. And voila, you have now created your own virtual school monster. You can curl your pipe cleaners. You can add some boogly woogly eyes or eye for your monster. And you can have them sit with you whenever you're starting to feel a little anxious or a little nervous or for just someone to keep you company. If you have a small paper tube and not a lot of yarn, you can make a little monster. If you don't have any yarn, you can maybe make a pom-pom monster. Or you can make a whole family of monsters. Totally up to you and they can keep you company during your virtual schooling. If you really want to feel experimental and try new things and experiment, you can create your monster using some felt. You can use some puffy paint to decorate your monster. You can use some boogly woogly eyes, some more pipe cleaners and some pasta for your monster. So have fun. 
and create your own virtual school monster to sit with you and enjoy your day. Remember, our art groupie is Stretch. Stretch E to be exact. He likes to experiment, take a risk, and try new things. So have fun making your monster. Happy creating.